Welcome back everyone. In this final detail about route handlers, we will explore the caching behavior. Route handlers are cached by default when using the get method with the response object in Next.js. Let's dive into this in VS Code. Within the app folder, we will create a new folder named time. Inside this folder, let's create a new route.ts file. Here, I'll use pieces snippets to add a get handler. So pieces explorer, insert snippet. We will update the response to JSON format and return the current time. So return response.json time new date dot to locale time string. In the browser, Navigating to localhost 3000 slash time displays the current time in hours, minutes, and seconds. On reloading, the time updates, showing us the latest time when we make a request to our route handler. This is the behavior in development mode. Let's build our application and test it again. In the terminal, execute npm run build followed by npm run start. Then return to the browser and reload slash time. We see the current time, which is 2.10 pm, 13 seconds. However, if I reload this page, the time doesn't update. Even after multiple reloads, it remains the same. This is the caching behavior I mentioned at the start of this video. Route handlers are cached by default when using the get method with the response object. But this of course begs the question, how do we inform Next.js that we don't want the response to be cached? Now we can use what's known as a segment config option with a dynamic mode. At the top of route.ts, add export const dynamic is equal to force dynamic. By default, the value of dynamic is auto, which attempts to cache as much as possible. We will set it to force dynamic, ensuring that the handler is executed for each user request. If we now rebuild our application with npm run build and rerun with npm run start or npm start, reload the slash time route in the browser, we see the current time to 12.43 pm. Refresh and we see the seconds updating. We have successfully opted out of caching. Now, besides the segment config option, there are three other ways to opt out of caching for a route handler. These include using the request object with the get method, which is the parameter we have seen so far, employing dynamic functions like headers and cookies, which we previously learned about, and using any HTTP method other than get. In all these four scenarios, the response is not cached. I hope caching behavior in route handlers now makes sense to you. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.